still here? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Really? About what? Dirty diapers. You know, you never think you're gonna miss stuff like that. You know, one minute you have these babies and you have to do everything for them and they need you for everything and the next minute you turn around they don't need you at all. You know, and I was thinking about the crying and the waking up in the middle of the night and all those disgusting diapers. There's a whole lot of good things that go along with that. <sighs> I'm really sorry, Rox. Man, I was psyched about being that baby's grandma. And that skank, Stacy, she had to lie to Rex about him being the father. Well, if it makes you feel any better, she's not exactly an amateur. Well, it doesn't. But I think Rex is lucky. He's not gonna have to deal with that slut anymore. What's that expression? Good riddance to bad relish? Yeah, something like that. I feel sorry for the real father, because he's in for a real crude awakening. I wish I knew who that sap was who knocked Stacy up. I'm to head for the hills. Man, maybe I shouldn't have told you all of this. Are you scared that I'm going to give you up? No. Man. No, that was a, what do you call it, a hypothermical. I would never go try to find the guy. No, it's, it's, it's not that. I, I know you have to tell Rex about Stacy, and, and that if anybody ever figured out how you found out that I'd get kicked out of medical school again, but I, I know you'd never let that happen. You do? Yeah. How? Because I trust you. You're my best bud. I never had one of those before. Well, maybe it's about time. Just worried that I made a mistake because I hate seeing you suffer like this. Hey, listen, I'm gonna suffer either way. But it's not as bad as Rex going after Stacy thinking that that's his kid. If she wasn't already kidnapped, I'd wring her neck. Thank you. Probably have to stand in line for that. Well, you know me. I hate waiting. So maybe I have to find somebody else to take it out on. I'll see ya. Rox. John Brody. Stacy, do you have any idea what you're doing to me? You're actually giving me gray hairs. But you'll be okay. I mean, you have to be. Next to me, you're the most resourceful person I know, so. But you'll get away from Mitch. I mean, you'll get this message. And <clears throat> girl, it's hit the fan. I tried to get Sky not to tell Gigi the truth, but he got away from me. But the good news is I haven't heard anything, so who knows? Maybe he changed his mind, and no one will ever know that Rex isn't. Isn't what? Stacy's baby daddy? What kind of medication you're taking, but you might want to check the expiration date. You better save it, girlie. I already know that you're helping Stacy pass off that Bambino as Rex's, and it's not. Where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. The important thing is, you know that I know. Well, you're wrong. So you better not go around town spreading these lies. What are you gonna do? Sue me for defecation of character? You know the truth, and I know the truth, and as soon as Rex finds out, it's finito for you and Stacy. You play ball, or Kyle chooses between med school in Trinidad or Tobago. Oh, and I could totally take you. I have been known to cut a bitch. Hey, Rexy. It's Mom. Hey, Oliver, it's me. Uh... I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I'm really worried about you. Yeah, I told Roxy that Stacy's not having her grandchild. I know you hate it when I get mushy. But I had to do it. I had to do it. I, I didn't tell her about you or Skylar, just about the baby. I, I just couldn't stand to see her up so upset. You're thinking something terrible happened to her grandchild, so... I guess the only ones that are still unhappy are just you and me and Skylar. Come back soon, okay? Brody. 